After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I love this job. I absolutely uh, had a great time working down here. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how many uh, people you run into that occasionally want to fight with you, want to be combative, screaming and yelling and not really happy that they're in jail, I still have a good time every night, something different every single night. Excuse me. I understand what you said, sir. Your spit is going to be a problem, okay? Sir, I, I heard you once. Okay. I heard you once. And, and, hey. Face exactly. Hey. Face forward, listen and follow the directions. Me, okay? We didn't arrest you. You guys beat me up. You guys Face put me forward. underground. Sir. This is the Clark County Detention Center. We don't I work understand. on the street. We haven't seen you till right now. Uh, exactly. How you act right now is how we're going to treat you. Okay, well, I'm just so you stand to... still. You do what they tell you to do. They'll take these handcuffs off. They'll put the belly chains on. Then you'll see what the charges are. And then you get yourself out of jail. So take these cuffs off. Right? Put your hands on top yes, of your sir. head, all right? And for the record, sir, my father was a great grand, the first king of Hawaii, OK? And my uncle was the last king, Kalakaua. And I'm royal. I want the news here as well. Hey, listen up. I need for you to follow instructions. No problem. It's a whole different no ball game here, OK? No worries. Okay. All right. You follow I got it. I follow you. You follow I instructions, you I have follow no instructions problem. as close as you want me to. You follow instructions, you have no problems here, okay? I won't have no problems. All right. Go have a seat by that guy in the polo shirt. In the, uh, right OK, here. so how long will I be here? I told you I'll let you know as soon as I find control. out. But why are you keeping grabbing me? Because I just need to know. I just have to guide you because you don't listen very well. I don't listen very well. You didn't even touch you very well, so I am an adult. He gets in a fight with one of the other passengers. He pushes the flight attendant out of the way, and he hopes and prays that the plane crashes, yeah. and he's going to see to it. We take him out, and he kicks out the, the window okay. of the control car. Hey, hey, stop, stop. Who do you go after? I don't care. Beat me up. I don't uh, get the restraint the chair. Hold them on the ground and get the restraint chair. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Try to run out? Yeah. Basically, as soon as they told him that he was already in jail, he got up and tried to just run down the hall here. Watch, oh, so he likes to kick. He kicked the window out of the troll cars already. I'm not worried. Okay, have a seat. You're in jail. You can't just get up and run down a hall. You have to go where no, they tell you no, to go no, and no, stay no. seated. You are in jail. Know, they have no right to Explain brutality to me. me. Before. No right to brutality me. We are in the United States. OK? Remember that. God will bless you. Behind me. you. I'm not afraid. He wasn't spitting if you take that mask off. We're going to keep this off your head, but you don't spit. Uh, I, Understand? Well, I, I know you didn't. You start I yelling and spit starts coming out of your mouth. Sir, first, I'm not first, you first, I explain, first, I explain this to you already. Sir. I already explained that you're in jail. I already explained that I was going to find out what your charges were and how you can get no, out of jail and all that you stuff. This is called brutality. No, it's this, not. This is cause. No, Sir, actually. You're okay. telling me that what you guys can do to me, you don't know who I am. My name is Kaivi Kuomo Okiku Okalani. My father was a first grand was the first king of Hawaii. My my uncle was the last king, Kamehameha, died in 1891. And they would all be proud of your behavior right now. No, no, they wouldn't be. The behavior no, no, that no. got you thrown what off the plane, the behavior right In here. America, you stole from us. That's what you did, OK? So don't even quote me. So, okay, OK, well, I'm done talking to you. You okay. can sit here strapped in this well, chair. I, I, I'm fine. Good. I can sit for hours. And you can, Well, you're going to sit there until well, you're not I screaming no and yelling. Because when I go to okay. the Supreme Court, have you fun. will get yeah. in trouble. Good. Yeah, when you go to the, he goes to the Supreme Court, you'll get in trouble. When he goes to the Supreme Court, then I'm going to be in trouble. He can push a flight attendant, but that's irrelevant. He can kick a window out of a patrol car, that's irrelevant. He can run across the floor, that's fine too. But somebody has to hold him down. Oh, that's irrelevant. That's bad. Oh, he'll find out later. Good. been in the chair for close to an hour. It's calm now. It's time is good. Look up the right and feel the out there. Okay, go stand up. Come this way. Hello. Just come over here first. Okay. 
instructions. So have a seat in this red chair. Grab the bottom of your shirt, pull it up to your neck. Okay, lean forward. Oh, get up. There you go. Sir, you don't have to be so rough. Oh, my God. Nobody told you to stand up. I know, but I did not know. And nobody's being rough. He doesn't like me. He's never liked me from the first beginning. His pupils are dilated so high. Pull your pants so he's up to your knees, both of them at the same time. No, I don't want to do that, sir. Sir. Pull, pull. Oh, okay. Sir, I have... Hold on, hold on. Sir, listen, sir, listen please. Listen very carefully. Ouch. You I, do what we tell you to do. I can't, but my leg hurts. <laughs> this is your last chance, and you're back in that chair. Remember I told you about three strikes? Sit up, do what they tell you to do. I am good. Pull your pant leg up to your knee. I am good. I, you know what? Seated. I am going to go to the damn Supreme Court okay. for this. Okay. Now lift up I both legs. I cannot believe you did this. Listen. Lift up both legs so I can see the bottom of your feet. Don't stand up. Are lift you? up your hey, feet. I don't, I don't understand. Up. Sir, I, I, I don't know why you did. This is nudity. This is... I don't believe you guys doing this it's to me. It's a search for your Listen safety and the safety of other inmates. You follow directions. No, you guys are embarrassing me because... No, we're not. We're having you do the same thing that every single inmate that comes in here has to Lift do. Lift up your feet so I can see the bottom of your feet. We're checking for contraband. Lift them up so I can see the bottom. There you go. Now you can I mean, stand I'm up. Trying. Stand up. There you go, Sergeant Wayne. It's all yours. Go ahead and walk right down this way. We're going to go right down this hallway. Right off to your left. Go ahead. Take your shoes off. OK, go ahead and step inside. All right, go ahead and have a seat right there. OK, there are rules that need to be followed at the airport and in jail. By not following those rules, that's how you ended up in jail. OK, now you need to follow the rules here so you can hurry up and get out of jail. See how it works? Thank you, sir. All right. So my shoes leave these out there? Yep, we'll leave your shoes out here. No one's going to steal them. It's a jail. Everybody's honest in the jail. He's just going to sit here and follow the rules and do what he's told. If he'd been doing that from the very beginning, he wouldn't have been in a strange chair and he wouldn't have been down here in the cell right now. He'd be sitting out there. Oh, he'd probably be flying to Texas right now. Prior to coming to work for Tulsa County, achieved my private investigator license, which got me uh, headed in the direction of law enforcement. I uh, have been a certified deputy sheriff uh, the last three months. Thought I might be able to do something to make a difference and uh, have a positive role, hopefully, on some of the inmates. Have I been disrespected by Tulsa PD? Yes. They killed my dog for no reason. And what about the hospital clinic emergency no. last three days? No, they didn't. Yo, white boy, you gonna shoot my sister dog? You don't know me. Sis, shut up. They killed my dog for no reason. I've been in jail my whole life. What am I in these chains for? They killed my dog for no reason. No, they're in my yard. Yeah, I want everybody's name, their badge number. No, they're lucky I got my hands. Now they killed my dog, and that's all I want. I want to find them. Marlene, do you want to put them all in there? <laughs> I just want my dog. You want Marlene? I just want my dog. I just want my dog. She got a while to rest that off. Y'all better hope she don't hurt herself. I know that. Cause I know you. I know you. I didn't know all four of you. In that back. He released the dog on the officer that was arresting his sister. Uh, and that's when when uh, uh, we shot his dog. How, how did the dog get killed? Hmm? I shot it. Shot it. Yeah. How many times? What what type of dog? Pitbull. Pitbull. Side of three, twenty-one. So. So. Really crash. Fun man. Wants to be in charge uh, with public intoxication and obstruction. Okay. Because I told you to go inside like six times and you just didn't listen. So to what am I? What am I? What's, what's gonna go down? I don't know, man. You're gonna be put over there and you're gonna bail out tonight. Okay. Bail out from who's gonna bail me out? That's <laughs> 
Who's your gonna problem? bail me out, What's bro? Up? That's your problem. I need to. I got five hundred dollars up under my pillow now. Tell your dad to come bail me out. He's on the <laughs> police. Hey, Don't do that, or I'll have to put a helmet on you. Marlena! I will put the helmet on. Okay, man, you kill my dog. I don't care, man. You kill me. Y'all gonna kill me anyways. You kill my dog. You kill my dog, man. What the f is the matter? What I do? Y'all kill my dog. pepper sprayed. Her pit bull was shot by a Tulsa Police Department. Her brother and brother-in-law were also brought in tonight uh, trying to defend her during the arrest. I appreciate that, sir. Just got a little pissed off about my sister getting wrecked up. And I'd probably like to see her little sister get locked up. All right, before I start searching, I'm going to let you know right now. Your sister, any issues you have yeah. But the arresting agency is between you and that arresting agency. Yeah, that's cool. I have no problem with okay. you guys. Yeah. Let's get that because over with. the local police department spread your sister don't mean you get you have any need to get mad at us, all right? Oh, no. All right, Once you get inside back. here, do not talk to your sister all for right, any reason forward. whatsoever. Put your hand on the wall. Spread your feet a little bit more. All right. You got one brother. He's got charges. Well, the, your brother. The taller, skinny guy. He's got about eight grand worth of bonds. Okay, he got hit with he got hit with all the with all the vicious dog stuff. He got, hit he got with, charged for them killing my dog. No, he got charged for unneutered dog, vicious harboring a vicious dog. Um, a couple of a couple of past charges. All right. Yeah, and he's got an after revoke, I think. So he's got about eight grand worth of stuff. Lacey, can you give me a favor? You've been able to get the phone to work? Yeah. All right. Will you help her make a phone call? Yeah, no problem. All right. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like Marlene and her brother-in-law uh, received pretty minimal charges. They should be able to bond out. And her brother, unfortunately, has over $8,000 in bonds. He's uh, unfortunately been stuck with the brunt of the charges pertaining to the dogs and uh, will probably be with us for a while. Keep insane, you do your best, uh, and that's by basically laughing it off. It is funny after a while, but uh, you still gotta watch your back. You can laugh, you can have a good time, but these people are dangerous, especially when they're drunk. 
especially when they're high. I know what it means, man, but I'm not dumb. I'm gonna get pneumonia if I can't take my shoes off. We're gonna take your shoes off for you in a second, all right? Is this a joke or am I really going to jail? You're in jail. No. For what? You're here. If this was a joke, I would be drinking. Hey, hey, officer with the badge, why don't you go down to 6th Street if you want to find some drunks? I'm coherent. I've been arrested for public intoxication. I don't go to 6th Street anymore. Oh, well, I've been arrested for public intoxication. Guess what? I haven't drinking a beer all day. You have mental health issues? Yeah, I do, and you've wrongfully arrested me. I, I didn't mean to, sir, but uh, yeah, I'll get right on that. Yeah, that's right. Put me in my room. Take oh. care of these handcuffs. Oh, I'm going to catch pneumonia if I can't get these shoes off. I want my own cell. I want a fireplace. I want a nice view. Most drunks don't say that, huh? Face that way and don't move. I am facing whatever way you put me. Damn, I have nothing on me. I'm in my pajamas. You want to, feel like you want to kill yourself tonight? What are you talking about? I never wanted to kill myself. The f man. Why don't you f again? What's wrong with you? You know you're on Face the and don't Yeah, move. yeah, f you, you pig. You got any medical problems? Yeah, you for being personal. Take his handcuff off, you need to place your hand on top of the oh, counter. Oh, one at a time. You know, there's two of them, and there's only one key. I said your hand. I didn't say hand. Yeah, I've got two hands. They're on them, each end of my arms. Leave it right there. Don't move your hand. Oh, that sure is nice. Hands on the counter. Leave your hands there. What should I do with this hand, officer? Just put it down. All right, Billy, you want to take your shoes off? Go ahead and take no, it. what do you think I've been asking for? Come on. No. Your See, they say, do you want to take your shoes off? I say, yes, they handcuffed me again. You can't turn around on these officers, all right? And all I wanted to do was take my shoes off. That's all I've been asking for for the last hour. Okay, you asked me if you want to take my shoes off. I say, yes. What are you Oh, yeah. APD's finest. Okay, come on, brother. Can you take the socks off, man? They're still soaking wet. Damn. Can you unhand me? So Wait a minute. All I really want to do is take my socks off. I'm not going to touch your hey, dirty socks. Hey, I'm handcuffed, you stubby Mexican. That's husky Mexican. APD Stop to hear me. I, I bleak y'all, but I'm handcuffed. Pardon me? You got any medical problems? I thought it was stubby. Oh, stubby? Yeah. yeah. I'll take the logic. He was uh, on Far West Boulevard. Uh, it's a convenience store. They wouldn't sell him any more beer. Well, in the state of Texas, if you sell alcohol to a uh, intoxicated person, it's um, it's a criminal charge. So this gentleman right here, he flags down these two police officers, and his wisdom and in his thinking, they won't sell me beer. So he actually flagged down the the police to complain that they wouldn't sell him any more beer. It's not his first time here. Every time he comes in, he creates a, a ruckus. He wants everything his way. Well, in here, you just don't get it that way. Next time, don't flag down the cops because you, they won't sell you beer. Go get on the phone first. We just need to take your picture. You're here so often. I know, I know. But it's been a while. Right there. Keep your voice down. I'm accidentally in jail. It was a complete accident, I swear. Because they tried to arrest me for doing something I wasn't even doing. They say I'm drunk. Don't I sound pretty coherent? I don't know. All right. Good night. That's how you do it. Billy, you done? I'm done. That's it? I'm done. Mom, I'm in jail. Come and get me. Come no, on. it's not the mom that's worried. It's that pregnant girl at home. I don't want to be in that room. I know about that room. It looks like this. I want a place to lay down, right? Just lay down on the floor. Man, you're... Come on. Lay down on the floor. Thank you. You're not welcome. Alcohol is like a big factor in our society, especially the criminal justice society, because that is the major factor of everybody, seems to be. 
everybody gets alcohol in them, everybody's got a point to prove, everybody wants to tell you what they think. I've been stationed at the jail for the past year and a half as a deputy. I wanted a job that was exciting, that was something new every single day, that it wasn't uh, the same thing over and over and over again. It's a job that's got interesting people and I also enjoy helping the public. I'm on my way. Responding to an inmate and inmate fight. Hey, don't move, man. What I say, don't move. I'm sorry. <coughs> I didn't All right, man, let's roll towards me. Roll towards me. Put your knees up to your chest, man. Sit up on the chest. Bring your knees up to your chest. Right now, this is uh, just the uh, the after effects of the uh, taser cartridge. This is the wire, the prong is inside the uh, cartridge right now, collecting all this to, uh, to book into evidence. There was a code blue in J1, we sent the response team. There was, between the two gentlemen, code blue is when there's a fight between two inmates. We really don't know what happened yet, I don't have all the details, except for it was over a phone. The gentleman will be going to segregation. It was your phone stuff that got us started. Were you guys, was it anything between you guys before? No, nope. just has two phones in the whole pod. The yeah. dude want to be on the phone. He, he want to hang up and get back on the phone, hang up and get back on the phone, hang up, get back on the phone. It's a, it's, it's a hundred people in this pod, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure y'all know you see the big line waiting behind the phone. Yeah. Can't keep doing that. Nobody's going to keep taking that. Yeah. Then you guys just started arguing and... Started arguing, you hit me. Yeah. I did what I did. Got there, uh, the no, two inmates uh, were arguing and they started fighting. Right. Um, I came in a little bit after uh, Evans. Evans told him to stop okay. mm -hmm. and then uh, right. the inmate did not stop. And then uh, after that, uh, the Evans tased the inmate. The right. inmate went down, the other inmate decided to go ahead and he didn't want to get tased, so he went ahead and went down to the ground as well. And uh, I handcuffed uh, the first inmate, the one that got tased, and uh, we took him to, to medical to get assessed. Okay, so they both complied without any more problems. Yeah. They, they both complied without any problems. Great. Thank you. Hey, Anthony, I need you to tell me what happened yesterday. What started everything between the two of you? Phone. The phone. You guys got into a fight over the phone? Yes, you guys had any problems in the past? Yeah. No? So who started it? He hit you in the back of the head. He hit you in the back of the head? What did he hit you with? His fist. His fist? All right. And that's all that happened? That's when he hit me in the back of the head with his fist. And I guess when I was turning around, he said I was trying to hit him, but I was really just grabbing him, I guess. You were just grabbing at him? Well, when I walked in, it looked like you guys were really about to go at it. Yeah, he, he got hit. You know what I'm saying? Bam, bam. I guess when I turned, you know, I was doing like this, trying to grab at it. Uh huh. So I, I wasn't swinging. Nothing, nothing. You weren't swinging? Mm -hmm. You never swing? Mm -hmm. Are you I mean, sure? I, I, I don't know if I did or not. You know what I'm saying? When he hit me in the back of the head, I was doing like this, but I don't know if I was swinging or not. You know okay. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. All right, that's all I needed. Let's go. Come here. Hey, Joey, I need you to tell me what happened between the two of you. Uh -huh. He means he just started getting mad because the line started getting longer and longer on the phone. Mm -hmm. I guess he wanted to jump the line and use the phone. Right. And, he, and what happened was when I had got off the phone with mama, I 
He had jumped over the bars, came down and kind of coerced me out of the way, trying to get on the phone in front of everybody. Right. And that's how it started. It started from there. Okay. And he just started pushing me. And he started telling me that black man. I was like, no. Did you hit him first? Yeah, he hit me first on my left side. Yeah. Did you you never hit him with the phone in the back of the head or anything? I hit him after he hit me though. Right. I hit him after he hit me. Though. Well, when I walked in, it looked like you guys were really about to go at it. Was what I was seeing. See, what happened was he he was beating me up. Yeah. And then when that time that came in there, I had got a chance to get up off the ground and defend myself. Okay. And when I had got to defend myself, that's when I got electrocuted. You got tased? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You only got tased once, though, right? Yeah. Don't want to do that again, huh? <laughs> Not a good ride, huh? Uh, then I'm BOC, so I wasn't trying to get into no trouble. You're right. I've been trying to just do my time. And I don't know what he got going on. I wasn't irritating him. I wasn't there messing with him. I didn't even say nothing to him about the phone. Right. I didn't know he jumped over the thing and was sitting there. He actually jumped the whole line because there was four other people waiting near the phone besides him. Uh huh. You do know the disciplinary hearing officer is going to come see you probably next week. She'll talk to you about this and that's going to determine how long you're going to be in segregation. Okay, but we're looking at probably 30 days for fighting. 30 days? 30 days. All over a phone, man. Even if it's self defense. Even if it's self defense. Dude, you don't have to do that. You don't got to fight. Yeah. All right. All it was was a fight over the phone. What these guys don't realize is that every time that they get into a fight, it's always going to cost them 30 days in segregation because every action they have is always going to have a reaction. This is a central booking. Uh, we're in downtown Austin, Texas. 80 to 90 percent of the people that we get on a given night, you know, may be really upset that they got arrested, uh, not very understanding of, you know, why they're here. On this job, you have to put your thinking cap on because you never know what you're going to run into on a given night and how creative you're going to have to be. And sometimes you have to think of some good ones. I ain't done nothing wrong. Nothing. Okay, hey, we're gonna take that off. Yeah. Is that what you wanna do? You yeah, sure? Take it off. You sure? Because mm -hmm. it ain't easy. I need to be in a mirror or give me a scissors. Because it's <laughs> hard, dude. I'm ripping it. You see that? Now, would you like to take it off? Would you like to take it off? Let me go to the back and take it off. Go ahead and take it off. Just take it off, that's all. I'm gonna put it in your property, you'll get it back. Don't step, don't step over here. Step back and take it off. Step, step back and take it off. Step back to here. Is this where you'd like for me to take it off? It's all about safety. I know, but it's nothing way personal. Y'all are confronted. Let me tell you something. Okay. Uh, go okay. Ahead, while you're talking, you can go ahead and remove it. No, I'm I'm gonna talk. No, not no. All right, then you do it. Go ahead and sit down. Sit down. Sit down, sir. Go ahead and You're gonna throw me down, or what the f is gonna happen, dude? Go ahead and turn around. Turn Go ahead and turn around. Back. Watch your hand. Go ahead and turn around, sit down. Sit down. Yeah. I'll help you with this. It's, it's real easy to just comply. It's not. You know, I'm not going to hurt dude, you. Dude, it's so embarrassing, dude. I understand it's embarrassing, but it's, it's you know what? to your life, dude. Is your life that dull, dude? Is your life that bad, dude? Because I thought we were in Austin, Texas. I thought we were in Austin, Texas, dude. This is not Austin no more. Okay, I'm going to let you finish doing this, and you yes, can do sir. it at your own pace. Yes, sir. But you're going to stay in here to do it. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Are you okay? Yeah. There you go. I'm brain dead. I lost my brain out of my skull in three spots. If y'all are messing with me. But anyway. Go ahead and work on getting that out before the nurse gets here. Yes, and uh, if you're not done by the time the nurse gets here, I'll let you finish afterwards, uh, okay? I'm fine done by the time the nurse gets here. Is the money, right the money, money that was taken from you an intake? Uh, no, you keep point. that. No, no, sure. no that's yours. You, you keep it on you. I'm going to keep it in my pocket. What about, what happened to my wallet, dude? Where's my social security card? Where's my yeah, driver's license? Yeah. Where's my visa card? Where's the procedure is everyone that comes in gets to keep their money until we reach a certain point. 
you keep your money on you. The rest of your property is placed in a valve pouch and, and sealed, okay? All right. What happened with this guy, man? What happened to him? What happened? Uh, he was inside a bar and paid his tab or signed at the top of the, the tab instead of the bottom where you're supposed to sign. Right. So when they approached him about it, he refused, tore it up, threw it in their face. And then uh, when one of the bouncers asked him about it, he basically tried to attach, attack a bouncer that was about 6'6". Six, six. And uh, right about that time was when we were going by, they flagged us down. So we peeled him off of him and took him into custody. Was that? He's not in his right mind. No. Attack a 6'6". Six, six <laughs> nope. bouncer. We what you, what'd you charge him with? Uh, P.I. Theft of service and uh, assault by contact on the bouncing dog. All right. So probably saved his life. Maybe. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Charles has come in. Uh, he was a little irate when he came in. Uh, a little uncooperative. He has some. Uh, he has a pretty long beard, and he has rubber bands and things like that in it. And uh, our policy is that as we remove those things, because it's uh, been known that people hide contraband or other things in there. I've got him in that room so he can go ahead and take them out. If he's compliant, I'll go ahead and let him sit out there with everybody else. If not, he'll stay back there until he goes to court. Listen to me. You're here on a charge. You've got to answer to that charge. We can do nothing about that. Since I didn't bring you here, but I have to keep you here, right. how about we cooperate until you can answer to your charge? Sir, yes, sir, I was cooperating. Which means don't bang on the door because you're going to cause this guy to don't get upset with, with you. You're going to cause people out there to get upset. Right. And if you start banging hard enough, guess it's what's going to happen? Worse. Guess what's going to happen? That's where we're going to go next. I don't want to put you in there. Last word, don't bang anymore. Yes, sir. Because we're going to go to the next level, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Go ahead and have a seat, man. Go ahead and have a seat. He's not getting it. He's going through peaks and valleys. You never know what you're going to get from him from one minute to the next. Until he gets out of here, that's probably what we're going to have, go, have to go through with him. fear and my concerns are safety amongst staff and, and inmates as well. Any given time, something can kick off in a facility. And that, as my job as a supervisor, I have to determine real quick, if we go to a day room, I got to be able to focus in the day room, see what's going on real quick, and deploy manpower. You always got to be up on the awareness. Don't take things for granted. You never know what's going to go on. You never know what's going to happen in a correction facility. Size Ten four. Oh, I just got called to report to the visiting center. I don't know the whole particulars yet, but once we get over there, we'll find out what's going on. What happened? 
got any happy hands? Mm -hmm. Hot skater. Did you tell me what happened, bud? <laughs> Where did this happen? Out of the street. Where? Out of the street? Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. who was it? A couple guys? Yeah. Yeah. And two females. Two females yeah. stabbed you? Yeah. Where's yeah. you stabbed? In the back? Yeah. You know what they're wearing? I know what they're, I know their name. All right, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got a medics coming? Did you go for medics? Okay. Just lay down. All right, right now we have an individual that was uh, stabbed by, he's saying two females, about two blocks from the facility. He came shoveling into the facility and started yelling and he got stabbed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go to Sarge, John. Get them jeans. Jeans? Yeah. He was with two girls? Yeah. So it was one yeah. guy with two girls? Sarge, yeah. Sarge, yeah. Sarge, 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 that is correct. All right, okay, go to me. I'm out here with him. Buddy, you know the guy's name, you said? Yeah. Side. Look at this. What do you know the girl's name? Yeah. What's her name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. She's from Bootin. She's from Bootin? Yeah. What's she look like? She's yeah, a Caucasian female. White girl? Yeah. How old? 18. Right now they're going to put oxygen on them. Stay there for me. Now they're going to transport the individual to uh, St. Joe's emergency room, which is about a half a mile up the road. And our patrol division, Sergeant here is now, he's going to put some units in the area to they locate the uh, suspects that did the injuries. Just like this. Ready? Ready? This is the first time not icing that in 15 years that we had a civilian get stabbed and run into the facility like that. He had two stab wounds to his back around the lower area part of the lungs. Any stab wounds that involve the lungs can be potentially life-threatening. So is it a life-threatening injury? Yes, it is. So hopefully we just helped him live another couple days, another year, live out his life fully. So let's hope for the best. Hopefully uh, he makes it out tonight, make sure he's okay, and he's able to walk past us tomorrow and say thank you. All right, we're gonna go upstairs right now and uh, talk to the individual that was, uh, got stabbed on the outside of the facility, and we went out there to help him out. Turns out now he's in the jail. I'm gonna go see how he's doing and see what his charges. Why he's in jail now? See what happened. We're gonna go on the third floor and uh, see the individual. See what happened to him. Why he got uh, locked up. He went from a stabbing victim to incarcerated. So we'll see what he did. Come here. So what happened? I like this? Yeah, let me see. You got stabbed up? Yeah. We banned you up, we helped you out, we, right. saved, you we saved you. You called me for that. And how'd you, and you go back, how'd you get locked up? Some man, they put me in, man. For what? What'd you charge? Um, first degree robbery and um, second degree assault. Okay. So, you got stabbed on the outside, we right. banned you up, helped you up, now sent you to the house. Now they're trying to say I stabbed somebody. Now you stabbed somebody. That's what they said. But you didn't stab nobody. Nah, I ain't even got no. What? Did you retaliate against the guy that stabbed you? Nah, I don't see none of them. Okay, so you don't see them no more? Nah, because um, I got somebody investigating. All right, well, have uh, a seat. I'll talk to you a little bit, right? All right, All right Ward. He was stabbed, and now he's back in here supposedly getting charged with stabbing somebody else. I guess he's looking to draw, huh? It's a freaky thing. So we'll see what happens.
is a direct supervision jail. In our booking area, they come in here, they're allowed to sit down, make phone calls, try to bond out, watch television for a little while before they're taken up to a pod. You're treating people as though they're people right off the bat, and we give them a chance to prove that before we have to put them in any sort of a cell. Got a fighter. I didn't do a damn thing. You'll put her in a cell before we get her in there. What, what's in her hand? Don't touch me. Come here. Don't touch me. Hold the door. Hold right there. I hate you. Okay. Hey, get him off hey, me. Hey, hey, stop. Get stop He's yelling and he'll get, get off you. Stop. Man. He is a man. Get him off me now. Get him off me. He's Here's a up. man. Get him off of me. You know what? I'm not yelling at you. Get him you don't off have of to me. yell at me. He's a man. He cannot touch me. I'm like touching this. you. Get him off of me now. Don't touch me. Please save me. I haven't done anything wrong. Nothing. I was in a passenger seat. We get all this stuff. Get her neck. Oh, she got a neck. Yeah, she bonked her. She busted her head. Yeah, she just slapped it a little bit. Yeah. Go get the nurse. Nurse! <laughs> the hell, she just threw herself back. Calm down, calm Get off of me! Calm down, calm down. Get off of me! Calm down. Get off of me! She's got a necklace on her. Right? Yeah, I know. She wants to kick me, though. She wanted to kick and fight. I don't want to kick you! I don't want to kick you! you stop it. Watch out, she's a fighter. Yeah. Don't bite the nurse. Head. Let me see your head. Did she just do this? Yeah, yeah. just right now. She just conked her head. Yeah. Huh? 24 minutes. No, they put me down. No one was in the cell. No one was inside the yeah, cell. Okay, you see your head? Put your head down and let me look at it. They pushed me down because I'm a celebrity with the quickness. Get your leg off of me. We're going to leave. Leave my cell. Leave. Leave. Get him off of me right okay. now. Oh, I'm going to back out. Get off of me okay, right ready? now. She jumps back and puts her head on the wall. What kind of warrants does she have? Anything serious or is it just stupid? No, they're just misdemeanor warrants, three misdemeanor warrants. And she's so. acting like this for that? Yeah, well, she's, she's Is she intoxicated? Drunk. Okay. She's really drunk. She just, she got worse as we came down. Yeah. Let her sit down so the nurse can see her head. She wanted to try to hit somebody. Get up. Get up. But you know how to walk. I walk with a limp. You don't even know me. You don't know anything about me. We're gonna have to watch her to make sure she doesn't start. She might be a candidate for the happy chair. Yeah, she's rubbing it. She was a passenger in a car at the beginning of the night and the officers asked her to step out of the car. She started to get belligerent with them and when they ran her ID, found out she had some outstanding warrants, just traffic stuff. The deal is, if you take a medicine, I can't just take your I word like, for it. I either go? have to talk to a doctor or I have to talk to a pharmacist. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can I... Just, you just had keys. Start out. 
What I want to do first of all is just do basic things like get your blood pressure and talk to you about your medicine, okay? Apparently, she has a history of seizures, and she told me she takes Tegretol once a day. You're such a cold-hearted woman. If I was your daughter or your niece or your mother or your aunt, there's no way you would be treating... I haven't done anything wrong, so I have a right to act like okay, this. Ma'am, we I haven't done it. We... I am very upset. Okay, we understand that. You don't know me. Well, okay, but you we don't understand know how you're good upset. I am. I am a Christian. Show us that. I am. By yelling you're at not, us. You have you're yelling at us. Pushed okay. me down. Okay. Me down okay. Let me tell well, you this, okay? We are not the ones that arrested you. We that. are a different department. We are not the ones that arrested you. And you're the it one that said, oh, matter. now she's had a good nap. So she's better. No, I hadn't had a nap. I was freezing my butt off. Okay. And I was waiting. Okay. I was I'm banging on that window. If you keep acting like this, you're going to end up right course. back in there. And then she can go. If you can think of any way to help me out to get your medicine, please let one of the officers know. You can walk this way. And this one needs. If she can stay calm, she can sit can out stay here. Calm. If you stay can calm and quit boots? yelling at us. My jacket? Yes, we're going to have you grab those. So do I have to go get them? Yes. Yes. You want your pants too? No, I want them in the trash. I never want to see those pants again. And part of the call. They remind me of the one I've gone through tonight. We're going to let her calm down, sober up some more, maybe another couple hours, and she'll be willing to cooperate with us, get dressed out, maybe call a bondsman and bond out. But this is her first time in jail. She's scared, and hopefully she won't come back after she gets out. Our number one goal here in booking is to generate voluntary compliance uh, when individuals come in here. Uh, we want to maintain safety and security of the facility at all times. And the best way we do that is uh, maintain control. Anybody that uh, comes into our facility, if they have any type of uh, artwork, uh, tattoos that they've got from the prison system or anything like that, we like to capture and place into our computer system. I could never out my STG to prison. Turn all the way around face the wall. All the way around, face the wall. You have nothing political on you? Nothing at all. You need my shirt? They can't find nothing. Oh. Don't give them any attitude. Anybody that comes in, no matter what ink it is, it doesn't even have to be political. We have to take pictures of it. No, mine's already on file. No, it's not, because I checked. Not on our files. Maybe in the in the prison system, but not here. You what? He's good? Right. Have a seat right here. We're going to have a seat strip put on you. Is this his shirt? Put the shirt on there. Is it going to go through the regular booking thing? What's that? Okay, you done playing games? Yeah, I wasn't trying to. Okay. I've been listening to you out there for about 40 minutes now, and all you're doing is out there. I wasn't trying to disrespect you. you know what I mean? I'm trying to disrespect him. You know what I mean? My core is not with you two at all. Definitely not with him either. You know what I mean? At all. So well, who do you have a problem with? No, nobody. Uh, no problems. Yeah, you been in here before? Absolutely, sir. Okay, it's not turning a bad day into your worst day. Right, you know what I'm saying? You got my word. All right, go ahead and follow the directions Officer Moore is going to give you here. Okay. Center for malicious destruction of private property, battery, domestic violence, drug paraphernalia times two. Three misdemeanors and just a gross misdemeanor. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. But if you get into trouble in here, it could turn bad. No you know, all, a gross misdemeanor could turn into a felony. Good deal. So we're on the same page now? Yeah, you got my word. All right. Take your word for it. You got my word. Initially, when he came in, he was a little upset, had some issues at first. Uh, we pulled him in, uh, talked to him with the sergeant. Uh, he decided to calm down and uh, go with the program. He's done a lot of time, so he knows uh, what's expected of him here and what's going to happen if he doesn't want to follow the rules. This is the open booking area where he'll be allowed to go to the booking procedure. He'll be fingerprinted, see medical services and pretrial services to see if he qualifies for a OR release. 
hopefully he's calmed down enough now where he'll answer the questions and follow the rules and get on with his life and get out of jail. What do we got? Come on over here real quick. Yeah, Have a seat right here. Yeah. You been here before? Like 12 times. 12 times? What for before? Listening, trespassing, and false information. Okay. What are you here for today? When was the last time you were arrested for soliciting? Uh, probably not. Yesterday I went to court September, so I had, oh no, I went to court. It was before I had my baby. It was like a week before I had my baby, so I'd have been, I had my baby September 8th, so I'd have been September 1st. And then August, September 1st. So know. you were soliciting while you were pregnant? When did you stop? How how far along were you? When I you stopped? Nine months when I got arrested. You were soliciting when you were nine months old or nine months pregnant? I thought that was the last soliciting charge. I was nine months pregnant. Wow. Yeah. Stand up over here. Do you have any hidden money anywhere? Or? I swear to God, as soon as they, I, whatever he's got right there is what I got. Okay. I swear that's all I got. I'm nothing on me. How much do you usually make when you go out? 700 to 1,000 a night. Oh, okay. So you work every night? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't work last night because my daughter didn't have a babysitter and she's sick right now. No, she was sick. She was sick last two days, so I didn't work the last two nights. I know my words about me. The only reason I'm heated right now, I'm telling you. Why are you upset? Because I just went to court November 5th, and he's telling me I've had my warrant since July. I've been to court twice since then. Twice. So I know my warrant's I'm not like that. Never. That's what I'm saying. I, just, I know it's, it's not me. Okay. Well, I need you to uh, go see the nurse. You know, you know you've been here, what, 15 times? Few. Okay, yeah, so you kind of know the what the procedure is. Go all the way down, talk to that nurse. What was her deal? I was actually at Caesar's Palace. I had a flyer with her picture on it. it said she was wanted for grand larceny. So it's an arrest warrant. Yeah, they said she 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 comes in every night. She's sitting up at the bar, throwing back shots. He saw the flyer, said, "Wow, she's probably gonna be up at the bar." Walked up to the bar. There she was. Yeah. Wow. Throwing back some drinks, but she shouldn't be doing that. She just had a baby two months ago and. She's cried the whole way to jail, saying. Yeah, she said she was prostituting while she was nine months pregnant. It's pretty sad. Yeah. People make their decisions. Now she's got to sit in here. We're here at the Multnomah County Detention Center where I've been working for the last 11 years. Sometimes I'll go out of my way to spend time with some of the people that come through the door um, because their story's just going to tug on your heartstring. I mean, we're human. People make mistakes. Of the hundreds and hundreds of people that come through this facility, every once in a while, you're going to have that one person who puts you in a position to want to help them. Hi. Hi. I got it, guys. We're having a baby. What's the problem? Hold on, slow down there, Tiger. We're having a baby. What's your last name? I don't know. What's your name? I don't know. I've never seen any. I don't know. Come over here. OK, step right up here for me, please. Thank you. What are they bringing in here for tonight, sir? I've never sir? seen any of it. 1234? Um, that and we found them with some mushrooms. Oh, I've never not seen good. Them. Yeah. Did you take some mushrooms tonight? No. No? Oh. So you're not going to hallucinate or nothing like that? No. His wife was uh, going into labor at a oh, bus stop. Your wife was going her. into labor at a bus stop? He's trying to stop us from helping her. Mm -hmm. 3261? I don't know. And while we were trying to deal with his wife, Elwin got in front of us yep. and kind of tried to stop us from helping her. We placed him in custody. I found some mushrooms in his pocket. His wife was taken away by the ambulance, and we brought him here. Elwin, Elwin, look at me. Look at me. What do you want from me? Did you take anything tonight? No. Nothing at all? No. This is just your normal behavior? <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I respect you. All right. Face the counter. I'm going to take your handcuff. Stand up. Stand up, Elwin. When I take your handcuffs off, I want you to put your hands on the counter. You understand that? Say yes, I understand. I don't when I take your handcuffs off, your hands go right here. This is 
don't go real well. All right, Ellen, put that hand up on the counter. You're having a baby. Well, you're not having a baby. Your wife is having a baby. Please. Stand up. Uh, call the nurse. Have the nurse come up. There you go. I've never seen anything. Uh -uh. Nope. Put them down. Take your coats off. Put them down. I've never seen anything. Uh, Elwin, stand up. Stand straight up. Turn around, look at my nurse. Stand up. I don't know what to do. Stand up. I don't. I'm look at my nurse. Okay. Look at my nurse. Sir? Hi. Do you know where you're at? No. You I don't. don't. Can you open your eyes? No. Why not? You just had them I open. A little bit to drink. I've yeah. had anything to drink. Nothing more at all. Are you sure? Kind of smell like it. Kind I don't know like it. Yeah. Have you had something else? Any medicines or drugs? Medicines. Ah. He has them on him? Negative. What Stand up. I don't know. What kind of med... Mm. Okay. I think he's pretty much with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ellen. Turn around. Face the counter. I'm put your hand... No, put your hands up on the counter. We're having a baby. I've never seen anything 5,000 times. I feel like I'm in... Boom. I'm going to go my way. My way. Come on, Ellen. Come on over here. Boom. Go in there and relax. No. I don't know. What's wrong with So, Ellen apparently may have taken some mushrooms tonight. Obviously, his behavior might indicate that he did. He also has smell alcohol in his breath. So, he's probably a little intoxicated as well. So, it sounds to me like his wife is going to be having that baby in the hospital alone tonight. We'll keep an eye on him. We'll have the nurse check on him probably about every 15 minutes or so keep a good eye on him make sure he's not going to OD or anything until we can determine how much drugs he may or may not have in his system do we know what the outcome was with his wife I don't know she's up there probably starting to have the baby now was she concerned about him at all no not she's at all in pain okay wow well good job for stopping and helping oh, her nice. out and Thank thanks you. thanks a lot for him yep good night all right I'm gonna go check on that guy that may have taken some mushrooms. How you doing, Ellen? Okay. When you came in, you were pretty out of it. Yeah. You're doing much better now. You're very much okay. more coherent than you were. I'm not so worried about you as I was when you first came what in. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna get you through the booking process. Go ahead, stand up for me. Okay, why don't you come on out? Grab your shoes. Is this your third child? This is my, like, sixth child. Your sixth child? Third yes. with this person? Second with this person. Second with this person. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Did you know she was going into labor tonight? Were you coherent? When I she... wasn't even coherent enough to know. Okay. Not really. Okay. Hey, sit tight right there okay. for just a second. All right. Why don't you head right on over there through that slider? The sooner we get you through this, the sooner you get out of here, okay? Yep. Why don't you just stand right over on the other side of that podium right there? Deputy McElhaney's going to get some more fingerprints from you. Right here. Do this twice. Yeah. So, Erwin, did you eat any of those mushrooms that you had on you? No. None? Uh uh. I don't think so. You don't think so? You I don't remember? Know what happened, ma'am. Okay. If you don't remember it, you probably probably did at one point. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead and have a seat right there. Are you working right now? No, I take care of my wife full time mm -hmm. because she has epilepsy. Okay. And so that's what I do. I take care of my family. Okay. I don't, I don't think you were doing a very good job of that tonight, to be honest with you. I don't think so either, maybe. Okay. I don't know. So alcohol and mushrooms and a newborn no. child, they don't mix? No. Did you know if it was a boy or it a girl? It was a girl, they It said. was a girl? That's what they told me. Okay. You got a name? Autumn. What is it? Autumn. Autumn? That's a pretty name. I thought so. Yeah. We'll get you through this process and see if we can get you out of here tonight, okay? And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna 